there. Welcome back to my vlog. That's good. I should be in Eurovision with this voice, I tell you. Today, I want to talk to you about things. Things that annoy me right now and things that also make me really happy right now. Anybody heard that song by Twin Atlantic? Heart and Soul. I'm not a person who is adverse to singing with an accent to be stylized. However, the people in this band, the singer is obviously Scottish. It must be Scottish. If it's not Scottish, then I don't know what it is. But he sings with a Scottish accent. And it shouldn't annoy me as much as it does, but when the song comes on on the radio and he's like, flick the switch on the generator, you can't turn the on. It really gets on my tits. I feel like a little man singing that song is hanging off the end of my tits. Something that's making me happy right now. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or something like that, you may have seen that I uh, keep posting pictures every day with a hashtag of 100 happy days. This is something that my hairdresser introduced me to, interestingly enough, uh, and where basically every day you post a picture about something that makes you happy. So you look for something, well, you don't have to look for something, let's say, but hopefully something happens in every day of your life that makes you happy. And you take a picture that either is of that thing, or that represents that thing, and you post it with the hashtag 100 happy days. Go and check it out, 100happydays.com, and you can have 100 happy days too, just like me. The next thing that's really annoying me right now is this whole thing, I know it's in the news right now, and this is being like really topical, topical and what have you, but this halal meat thing. Let me just point out, first of all, that I am a vegetarian. I have been a vegetarian for a long, long time now, and I don't like eating animals because I personally don't want something to have to die for me to eat it. End of story. So basically, this halal meat thing's come up and everyone's like, oh my god, we've been eating meat, it's been like, you know, slaughtered in this way. And I think it was, it was, I don't know, in the sun or somewhere like that, they like, kind of made some ridiculous claim to about the animals are alive when they're slaughtered. And what? What is everybody talking about? I know that like other versions of animal slaughtering means we like stun them first, but you know, it's still the same thing. And halal meat, it's not like, you know, some greasy man in a blood-stained apron bursts into a room with like a rusty blade and like pins the animal in the corner and slits its throat. It doesn't work like that. It's really like, you know, monitored and regimented in the same way as everything else. And if you're gonna eat meat, then just get over it and like for God's sake, they have to be slaughtered for you to have that bacon sandwich or whatever the hell it is that you eat. So just stop getting an, a tits up about it when, yeah. Something else that's making me happy right now is I'm having like, I mean, I've always been a fan of the jelly beans. It's been something that I think has been on my like description somewhere for a long time that I'm a jelly bean fan and I and I really am and obviously it's the gourmet jelly beans, the jelly belly ones because I don't know about other jelly beans whether they are or not but the gourmet ones are vegetarian obviously they're vegetarian friendly so uh, vegetable areas like myself can enjoy them and they're so good and recently I don't have a bag now to shake at you because every time we have them I eat them but we got these um, jelly, jelly belly sour jelly beans and oh my god they're like so good, they're all the best flavours and they're not even that sour to be honest so they're not gonna like make you go like they just taste so good and I freaking love them they make me H-A-P-P-Y happy I believe when I am filming this video the Eurovision Song Contest is actually it's currently happening, it started and I discovered the other day I think I came up on like a YouTube recommended video, um, Conchita Verst, Worst, I'm not sure how you say it. She's Austrian and she's a beautiful woman and she's got a beard. I just love it. First of all, the song that she's singing is so damn good. I freaking love it. It's the best song ever and it should totally win Eurovision because it moves me, it moves me through a rose filled bath. People have been saying a lot of mean things about her, but do you know what? If she is a woman who wants to have a beard, obviously she's like a transgendered person, which is totally, you know, who gives a crap? And I think some Russian people were like, said that um, something like she's a pervert, uh, and that um, that the like European whatever should like edit her performance out because it'll offend, I don't know, millions of people or millions of Russian people or something. I mean, Jesus Christ, what what age are we living in? Seriously, I mean. <laughs> it boggles the mind. But goddammit, Conchita, you make me H-A-P-P-Y happy! I 
I would like to recreate this video, starring myself. And the final thing that is annoying me at the moment is other people's success. Yeah, that sounds really bitter and twisted, doesn't it? But you know what? I am bitter and twisted. And I'm gonna continue being bitter and twisted until the end of time. There's so many other people who are experiencing success right now. Their lives are moving forward. This is happening for them and blah, 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 blah. And I am stuck and not going any further. One day, I shall rise like a phoenix out of the ashes, like Conchita, and I shall rule the world and you shall all bow at my feet like minions. Tiny ants that I shall order to do my bidding at moment's whim. And then and only then shall you regret and rue the day that you doubted Paul Michael Hodgson. Anywho, thank you so much for watching my video this week. I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, it's been beautiful to be involved with you in this video connection. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it the thumbs up. Check out my social feeds and send me a tweet and let's have a conflagration conversation. I made another video live, a video that was linked from my video before my last video, and it was a League of Gentlemen sketch recreation that I did. There was two of me on screen at the same time. Mmm, impressive. Uh, that's special effects. And if you haven't seen it, please um, click this square that should be appearing above my hand now. I've got to keep my hand there for a really long time so you can click it. Um, yeah, so click that video. Go and watch my um, sketch from the League of Gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, um, like it. Leave a comment on it or send me a tweet and tell me if you want me to do some more. I have had a request to do um, Pauline from the League of Gentlemen and I'm going to do my best to do this. I'm currently working on a little script of my own for my own sketch and I'm going to make it as soon as I can because it's exciting and I love it and I want to do it and I hope that you're going to watch it and you're all going to enjoy it. So thank you for watching. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Ah!